Hello everybody, welcome back to the KSP. My name is Chris and today, as per requested by a subscriber, we are making the UFO. Oh yeah. <laughs> now again, that's not the only reason why we are making the UFO, because I also need this for the cinematic that I've been throwing around lately. I also I have a couple questions as well. Uh, do you guys know of any flying saucer type shape parts that you might be able to find in the mod if you know like a mod that has that please tell me and also this ufo needs to be able to take a beating so <laughs> that sounds wrong from like missiles and stuff and and bombs right is there a mod that includes some type of armor if there is please tell me otherwise i've got another way of handling that but yeah i'm just throwing that out there now the UFO didn't take me long, just 5-10 minutes to make, it, was, it worked quite well initially. Uh, which is kind of a rare thing for the UFO because, I mean you think about it, the thing's rotating quite fast. I mean I don't know how fast it's rotating really, but it, it appears fast, right? Uh, yeah, which is why you have to use struts, I've got a whole bunch of struts on the inside. Uh, as you can see here, we've launched it, don't throttle up all the way, go to about 80 70 percent which should get you up into the air turn off the entrance deploy the parachutes and then turn the engines on and we are at the moment we are using a mod which is known as the hot rockets mod it doesn't affect the design it's just the how the the rockets look the exhaust as you can see there those are contrails i think aren't they yes they should be contrails not smoke but that's pretty much it i mean that, that looks alien ish which is what we need for the cinematic. Oh, again, I think I spoiled too much. <laughs> but I hope this is what the subscriber kind of wanted. It, it looks good. Yeah, so that's about it. I do hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.